Hi, my name is Devin Jackson Randall, or DJR, and welcome to Queer Fidacci. So let's talk. Today I'm going to be reviewing episodes three, that's three, three and four of Her Story. Her Story is a web series that ran last year, just about last year, August of 2015, and it actually won an Emmy for being such a great show. It's a six-part series, and each episode is about eight minutes, so it's not very long, but I've decided to split it up uh, two episodes each. I've already reviewed episodes one and two, and I am now reviewing three and four, and I'll get to five and six at some point. And of course, spoilers, These are this is a spoiler reaction. So if you don't want to be spoiled, go watch the episodes first. You can find them on YouTube, so if you're watching this video, you have access to the show. Go check that out. And remember, if you want to start from the top of my reaction to this show, then blog post episodes one and two in the description. Go check that out. Go. But anyway, what is her story? Besides all that stuff I just said, her story is about trans women and queer women, lesbian women. Uh, the story really follows the dating lives of these women, these trans women and these lesbian women, and really trying to depict what their lives are like. I read an article when I discovered the show that discussed the reason that the show was created was because of Ace Ventura. If you haven't seen the movie, uh, there is a part where the, char the main character uh, ends up finding out that he dated and kissed a... or had sex? Well, he dated. He dated a trans woman. And the running joke was that, oh my god, it's disgusting trans woman. So he threw up, he uh, burned his clothes, he threw the clothes out, this whole thing. The filmmakers who created this series, this series, had thought, but what happened to that trans woman? He made a joke out of her, what happened to her afterwards? And that's what created this series, that's what created her story. My general reaction to episodes three and four are that I loved them, five out of five beautiful loved it my favorite character page is so great that i wish she was real i wish that she could be right here next to me being my friend um, that's weird <laughs> she is so just heartwarmingly honest and so heartwarmingly herself so passion driven such a go-getter such a slytherin she is so unique in herself that i just love it and then seeing her date james who is this gentleman this handsome gentleman this nice guy uh, is really just, it's great seeing those two match and connect. In addition, there is Violet and Allie. Uh, Violet is a trans woman, just like Paige. It was revealed in episode four that Violet actually has been in an abusive relationship. She is a kept woman, which means that she is with a man who, when he wants to cheat on his wife and get away from his family, he goes, he has a house with Violet living there. He goes there and he uses Violet for all of his pleasures, right? Um, so it's been revealed that she's in that and it's an abusive relationship. And it's really just like an interesting kind of storyline, I guess. Just like a couple of days ago, I reviewed Uncontrolled Love and how that was an abusive relationship, which is terrible. But at the same time, it's interesting to watch and see that's just like what's happening here in a, her story. The thing about her story is that these episodes are short, so short, only eight minutes each. So I watched these two videos in like 60 minutes, that's it. It's such a good show that you want to continue. It's such an interesting show that you care for the character. Like, I love Paige. I love her character. I love everything to do about her. And so I really enjoyed watching this episode for her and then Allie and Violet off on the side. I really think this show is so interesting and I really hope they do a second season. It really deserved the Emmy that it got. And so I really want to see more. And I really hope that there's more after episode six, or else I'd be very sad. That's really all I have to do to uh, talk about it. Of course, if you want some more thoughts, I have some other thoughts, kind of ranging in the same area, but some other thoughts on the blog post. So go click on that uh, episode three and four blog posts, not one and two. Um, if you want, you can go start from 1 and 2. I have links to the videos in those blog posts of all four episodes, so go check that out. And if you have seen the show, uh, write in the comments what your thoughts are. If you haven't seen it, write in the comments if you were interested in watching or not, and all that jazz. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are good, and I hope you'll talk. Yeah, so
so let's have a talk. But if you don't know what social supremacy is, it's essentially the way I see it. It's essentially boys over flowers, but in a BL form. It's essentially 